Good afternoon and welcome to the Interfaith Roundtable episode number one. We are so excited to be here with you today. So we have two students from St. Andrews who are going to be sharing about their faith. I'd like to introduce from second grade, Abraham. Abraham is a Muslim. And I, we also have from fifth grade, Max. And Max is Jewish. And so this is what I love about St. Andrews. We are a school, a Christian school for people of all faith. And so today, high schoolers, I know that you're studying Judaism and Islam. We're going to bring it together with you, for you, with an interview between Max and Abraham. So are you ready to get started? Are you ready, guys? All right. So I'm just going to turn my chair around. And I wanted to let you know that there is a plexiglass right here. You, you can't see it. But we have them very distant and between the plexiglass so that they could take their masks off, okay, and be very safe talking. So um, they're protected. Just wanted to make a note of that with this Interfaith Roundtable. So let's begin with our questions. Um, so Max, what does being Jewish, what does that mean to you? It means studying the Torah and believing in the one true God and remembering the basic stories between Exodus or Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, the, the five books of the Torah. Wow, amazing. And so on the flip side, want to tell us, Abraham, what does being a Muslim, what does that mean to you? It means to believe in the one true God and that's... <laughs> So you have that in common with your your with your Jewish neighbor. That's right. And so that's why we say Muslims, Jews, and Christians all are part of what we call the Abrahamic religions, right? And believing in the one true God, we're monotheistic. Which brings me, maybe, as you were talking about prophets, beginning with, right, you were talking about prophets. What do you want others, um, Abraham, to know about your faith? I want them to know what I believe and... I want them to know what I believe and that I believe there's only one true God, no son of God, and that um, there's lots of prophets and the last prophet was Prophet Muhammad. That's right. And so I think that's something Max has in common with you because you believe Jesus is actually a prophet, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, Max, do you want to talk about uh, how Jewish people view Jesus? Um, pretty sure they view him as a rabbi. Oh, perfect. These guys know a lot about their faith, don't Which they? Which is a teacher in uh, the Jewish religion. Uh, Max is, um, is a rabbi uh, close to a prophet? Like, because prophets taught uh, about um, a lot and the run true God so they can stop... Um, worshipping statues. Um, rabbis teach people about, like at synagogues, like which are like churches, the rabbis are the leaders there, and they try to teach people about Judaism. Okay. And like they read the Torah and sing all the prayers and try to teach people there all about Judaism and the Torah. Okay. It sounds like both religions are all about teaching and sharing about the one true God. This is amazing. So here's our next question. It's a very personal one. How about we start with you, Max? How do you celebrate your faith? Or maybe what do you love most about Judaism? What do you feel is the most important celebration? For the first question, um, we celebrate our faith like Christians and I think uh, Islams, if I'm correct, uh, through holidays and parties. And sometimes they aren't parties. Sometimes they're just prayers, fasting, and praying. Wow. But they're holidays nonetheless. Do you have a favorite one? Because I know that we, we use this book about sharing about Jewish holidays. 
And you were mentioning the other day how every Friday is a Jewish holiday. Do you want to go tell them a little bit more about that? Um, that's for the most important one. Okay. Not yet. Um, for the next question. I have a question for you, Matt. I mean, a uh, correction for you. Oh. Um, instead of saying it's Islam's, because Islam and Muslim are both the same, it's Muslims because Islam and Muslim and Islam's, uh, it just doesn't sound right. That's what I heard my mom say. I just don't know. Okay. You're so right because when we think about um, Islam, people who practice Islam are Muslims, just like people who practice Judaism. We don't call it call them Judaisms. We call them Jews. Correct. So there we go. There's some clarification for you. This is wonderful, friends. Well, did you want to keep going? Maybe just I know that I'm asking lots of different questions here. Yes. Do you want to talk about the one that you love the most or the most important? holiday or celebration. They aren't the same one. Okay. My favorite one <laughs> is probably like most Hanukkah, but because there's eight nights because it was about a miracle that happened for eight nights. That's part of the story. There's a, a huge story behind uh, Hanukkah, but part of it was a miracle that oil for a candle wasn't supposed to last very long, but it lasted for eight days instead of one. And so the holiday itself is eight days. So we light a menorah, except this one only has six <laughs> and the helper candle in the middle. The Hanukkahs, the Hanukkah ones, yes. have two more candles at each end. And yes, they're called Hanukkahs. <laughs> um, or menorahs. The middle candle is lit, and you take the middle candle once it's lit and light the other candle for the first night. For the second night, you light these two candles. For the third, you light all three. And it keeps going on till the eighth night when all of them are complete and the holiday's over. And it's the helper candle called the Shabbat. It is. It is. Okay, oh, look, I'm glad that you pronounced that correctly. So what do you feel is the most important Jewish celebration? I'm going to use this book to help me. Sure. <laughs> Ugh. It's okay. We have lots of things around. It's called Shabbat. It's also our oh, here. Sabbath. Here. I think it's the first. No, it's, it's the most important, therefore it's the first one. So if you took the Hebrew letters, the, uh, Shabbat, is the Hebrew word, and here you go, and you rearrange them, you would get the Sabbath. So you want to talk about that for a bit, Max. Yes, um, Shabbat is the Sabbath, and it's so important that we have it every week. We light two candles, at least at my house we light two, and when we do, we say a prayer, we light the candles, cover our eyes and say a prayer so that when we open our eyes, we see the light from the candles and the holiday begins. Does the light remind you of something? Does it represent anything? Mm -hmm. Just maybe the start of prayer or the light of God with your life? The light just reminds me of starting prayers. Starting prayers. And speaking of prayers, we're going to get to see if you have a favorite prayer later. Maybe you can share with us. How beautiful. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Okay. And um, we have uh, bread and wine, but this, the bread is special. It's called challah, mm. and it's braided. There, you take three strands of dough, you braid them, then you cook it, and it rises, or bake it, and it rises, and you have bread, and it's braided. The braided bread's called challah, and on... Rosh Hashanah, the bread is in a circle because Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year. Right. Wow. And the, the chal is in a circle to represent a full year. <laughs> that is amazing.